boy. We need a short rest here. Hopefully it's the 43. I can't... Can't do anything about it. Alright, well this is our last turn. So... 43. You gotta be kidding me. If I had a 43, I would have gone first. Son of a bitch. Uh, move two, so you're gonna move here. And... I'm dead. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it, really? 43? I didn't have one HP enough to do it. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well... Let's see, I would have moved two. And then three damage. Four damage. Are you fucking kidding me? Is 10 here? Oh, One, two, three, man. Four. Shit. 10 can reach. Miss? Nope. I fucking died again. Oh, these vipers, I tell ya. You can kill a few of them, but then a couple of them are left. Okay. Um, so we're going to do a damage to each. So six and seven are dead. Six and seven. Uh, and then we're going to move two. And then we have to short rest here, but we can't kill them in one turn. I can now actually get that back. They're both already poisoned. I can kill one, but not the other because I'll be I'll be freaking screwed. I only have one attack and I can't kill both. <sighs> well, I'm done to two turns now. Assuming I don't get attacked again. Oh wait, six gets to go. Oh wait, I'm totally screwed. Oh my god, these vipers, I swear to god, they're worse than the imps. I didn't even get to use the curses from the imps. Hi, my name is Songbun and welcome to the Plague Heart Plague Herald, not Plague Heart. Plague Herald Solo Scenario called Plagued Crypt. The goal of which is to kill all the enemies. And we'll get into what the situation is in a little bit. But first, let's read the introduction. You creep through the ruins of yet another long forgotten crypt, looking for answers. The voice of Zorn, the god of the plague, spoke to you as, he, as you hibernated. It warned you not to grow complacent in your endeavors. It said that following the path of the plague would never be easy. The voice directed you to this location, which is full of foul creatures without a purpose. It is your job to harness their power and shape it into something that you can that can properly bring glory to Zorn. You find a set of narrow stairs overgrown with a black moss. Descending, you come to a large room of pillars and coffins. There are four ominous ornate doors leading in different directions. Here lie the verminling and pestilence that you will, that will relinquish their power to you, Zorn says. Strike them down and take their poison as your own. There's a flash of light and six green glowing figures appear around you. I cannot aid you directly, but I offer you some protection. Use these spirits however you wish. As the voice subsides, you hear a loud grating of stone against stone. The doors are slowly opening. It is time to prepare yourself. And we'll get into the special rules in a bit. But first... So this is a fresh level 5 Plague Herald. Uh, I've retired three characters, which means I have a total of seven perks. So we got rid of all the negatives. Ignore star scenario effects and add a plus one, even though there aren't really any scenario effects. And then we added two curse cards just for good measure. Uh, Plague Herald. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna leave the curses in there. They never seem to land whenever I need, uh, <laughs> whenever I need to kill something. They always, or, I'm sorry, they always seem to come up when I'm killing something. They never seem to apply when I want to, but that's uh, a good, good one to get, I think. Um, or should I get two plus one cards? Two plus one cards. Let's do that. So when you get to level seven, that's when the curses really start to be super duper important. We really just need damage consistency and that's so this is my uh, what is this fourth attempt at this and damage consistency is my biggest problem. So we're gonna add a couple plus ones. To see if we can't uh, help that out a little bit instead of the curses. Uh, given we have advantage, right? Okay, so starting with the items. So at level, s what is this? Level five, you get 90 gold. 
and we have a four gold discount, which allows you to get these items. Uh, I have Eagle Eye Goggles and Minor Power Potion we're going to be using together later on in the fight to empower one of our big AoEs. Odds are this is only going to get used once because I am not going to have time to long rest. And then we've got uh, Major and Minor Salmon Potions, which we'll use pretty early on uh, just to prolong the first cycle so we don't have to short rest as uh, short rest early and lose potentially some very important card later on. The Volatile Bomb we're going to be using relatively early to take out the, the first room, or at least try to take out the first room. Uh, so onto the cards, starting with the non-level specific ones. We're taking all of our big AoEs. Uh, we're going to use this as a burn stun top to take care of the third room or try to take care of the third room. These, This one's going to be used in the final room potentially to slow down the Vipers. The, the Vipers just are really annoying. They have three cards with jump, which means they can get over all these obstacles and just surround you. It's it's Immobilize is going to be really nice for that. Uh, this is just AoE Poison, obviously. This one we're using mainly as a low initiative and as a move heal allies. Um, the flying is potentially useful given there's so many obstacles it gives you better freedom of movement. But given the Vipers have jump, a lot of jump, and given the imps are ranged, you doesn't help you too much. And the low initiative is by far more important. Um, healing the allies also helps keep them up and we'll get to that in a sec. Uh, this we're using for both. We're gonna use it as an attack bottom for the first section section of the fight and then we're gonna use the top later on. And the, the top is a really powerful effect for big AOE spells, which again, we're gonna be doing right before we um, pop this stun. Uh, yeah, this tower, this top is going to be really nice for empowering anything that hits multiple targets. The This is just a two target, four range. Having four range is really good because that's the same range as the imps. Um, it'll also be able to power up these two for essentially poisoning one of the allies. Probably not going to use it a second time if I can help it to deal three damage to them. Then being able to take an extra hit is going to be really important. Because at some point, we're probably going to have to backtrack and let them tank, tank a few times. Over the other cards, this one... It seems good because you can remove poison just to do 3 damage. You don't have to pull any modifiers. But with how many other top actions do AoE stuff, this I never seem to find time to use. And if I do, it's in one specific time and then I'm just lugging it around. Whereas I have other cards that are potentially more useful. This is the very similar to this one, the other uh, two target attack. It does one more damage, but it has two less range. And on this map, range is key. Um, nothing really to pierce. If the imps are shielding, you don't want to be attacking them for the most part. Then the bottom, I shouldn't be taking too many attacks. And I mean, it's a good initiative and basically a move two at that point. But we got some other good initiative ones that are better moves. Not going to loot and the wind we're probably not going to be generating a whole lot of. I mean, there's this move to win, but yeah. As far as burn culture, I think I'd rather do this. It's more reliable. I don't have to win the turn before. Uh, one damage stun, potentially useful, but we need we need to crank out more damage. Uh, and then these two, uh, when, when you get your Plague Herald, not Plague, yeah, it's Plague Herald, right? When you get your Plague Herald up, the attack three curses are going to be really good but for this one i always prefer to use the four attack curse and something else over using this one and then the move curse never seemed to really happen because i i wanted to stay away from them as much as possible so they're actually not in the rotation on to the level specific cards the level two we're going with this mainly for a heal bottom but it's also a very powerful attack top it's poison for damage and it's only range two but really it's it's for a heal um, this is the only heal that we have on ourselves and it'll also heal one of the allies to remove the poison this one also helps remove the poison from this spread the plague thing over this which good move but they're both kind of crappy initiative and pierce which again probably not going to be needing because the imps only have one card that does that level three we're taking this this is our biggest single target attack Range 3 and Curse, really good initiative. This one's kind of interesting because if you poison all your allies, you can then bless. 
which means the bless gets put in your deck and, I'll, and that's part of the special rules and again i'll cover that in a bit but i just to lug that around for a, a bless bottom and then potentially killing a normal only poison on top this is far more important i almost consider that over this one though um, but this one is a nice generation for dark which synergizes really well with this one because then I can make all enemies with poison suffer two damage. It's a nice, reliable two damage. This is going to get used a lot more than this. This removes a poison, causes a one enemy to suffer three damage. This doesn't remove the poison and instead makes all enemies suffer one damage or two damage if I used this the previous turn. And that's pretty much the only reason I'm bringing this with now. Um, in, again, normal play, it poisons, it curses, it's multi-target in range three. This is a really good card for spreading curses. It's kind of an interesting, not chain lightning sort of effect, but the Spellweaver had something similar. If you ha if you ha uh, if you have wind, which you know wind, then you can target up to four people with this, assuming that they're all in a line. And basically suffer damage and deal three damage. So it's kind of like this on steroids, except for you deal one damage to yourself. Double burn card, yeah. All allies with poison cover up two discard. So if you're doing some sort of support, that might be kind of interesting. But um, in fact, if you're going for a curse build, this might be the better one. I don't know. Tough saying. So those are the cards. Um, similar to a couple of the other ones, I've sort of worked out a, a first cycle on this one. Um, it's really hard to predict what happens after this short rest. There's a short rest in here. But... The first bit is pretty, pretty straightforward and pretty uh, set in stone. So uh, I'll read you the what's going on here. So special rules: every three rounds, starting in round two, a door opens. So this one opens on round two, round five, round eight, round eleven. Uh, in here, there's actually nine vipers, but there aren't enough stands. So I'll set them up when we get to it. There's an elite imp here, two vipers, elite viper, normal viper, two imps five imps normal and then nine normal vipers and those vipers seem to just again overwhelm you it's just it's nuts even though they only have four health they just they swarm attack attack and just it's nuts uh spirits of zorn which are those lights that was mentioned in the introduction uh have four plus l hit points the scenario level is level three because uh, my character is level five so they have seven health they are allies to me and enemies to all monster types, so essentially I can hide behind them and let them tank for me. They do not perform any actions and have an initiative of 99 for the purpose of monster focusing. They use your attack modifier deck for the purposes of bless and curse. So that uh, level five bottom card that we, or level, f level three bottom card that we talked about. If you bless them with poison, that goes into your modifier deck. Likewise with the imps, the imps have a curse. If they're targeting two of these things, two curses go in your deck. That really sucks. Uh, one more thing before we begin. I would recommend highly to try and RNG your way into getting these two as your, as your starting, uh, starting cards. Because if you can get these two, they'll move up and be in a nice clump for your, your volatile bomb. And that's what we're going to be doing here just so it's consistent more than anything so essentially i'm restarting i'm restarting i'm restarting until i get these as the first modifiers now i will certainly shuffle all the other ones in fact here i'll show you the, the curse i mentioned so again here here the imps have a two target curse and that's really bad if they pull it okay uh so we're shuffling both of those but we are going to rng our way into getting those as the first action Okay, so battle goals. Kill one or more elite monsters, that will definitely happen. Eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, and ten. Uh yeah, I think I'm kind of screwed here. There's only one of the ads left, and I have the short rest. I have two turns left now, and I lost my AoE. Oh great. Well, we're gonna minus as... there's no way. There's no way. I don't have enough attacks. All right, so that's a failure. Okay, I think we got a good plan now. I've said that a hundred times now, but uh, we'll save state what we got here so I don't have to redo this every time. Okay, 
Uh, so we changed up the plan a little bit. We're going to try and kill everything on this turn so we have some extra time to spread the plague, which will help us kill off the vipers, and then we can use the spread the plague as we go. Uh, we're going to get two heals in here early on. Uh, this one is really just to heal this one back up to full and or get the poison off so we can use it later if needed. And it'll also heal the one we just used. This one is going to heal the one we just used, and then if we need to, we'll use another one, but okay. Okay, so start, we're gonna shuffle these guys, put the ones that we want and are technically vying for. And so turn one, using you as a basic move and the two target short range one, this one. So turn one, we're moving here. Okay. Okay, so turn two. We are gonna go late per usual. We're going to poison everything and then attack range four. So we get to do their thing, which again, the imp is going to go here. The viper is going to go here and attack. The other viper is going to go here. So it's going to attack for one damage and poison. All right. I am poisoning all them. Imp, the two vipers. And then I'm attacking Volatile Bomb for the first Viper, the second Viper, and then the Imp is disadvantage. So the first Viper, second Viper, all take five damage, so they're both dead. Um, I need the Curses, Player, Monster Curse. The Imp is going to take minus one, plus one because of the poison, and he has four health left. Okay, not bad. Okay, so this turn we're going to, that was a two target attack, but we don't really need it, so it's basically just using a bottom attack here. So 27 is our initiative. We got, we got him beat. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the top action of this and then if this one kills it, which I doubt it, but if it does, then we can use you as a move instead. So starting with this, it's two damage disadvantaged, of course. Now we're doing the bottom attack, just three disadvantage, four with the poison, and the imp dies. Okay. All right, now we need to use a stamina potion. We're going to get back the attack for the minor stamina, minor stamina, and we're going to get the burn back. And now we have a little bit of time. We actually have a free round here. This is round four we're going into. <sighs> okay, so round four, our plan is really just to use you as a move, and then we're gonna use you. Uh, there's nothing on the board, so um, we're using you as the move, and then we're burning this thing for two experience. And that thing luckily only took a damage. And a poison, which isn't too bad. Normally that one takes a couple, but... Alright, that's that round. Round five, these guys get to go. Round five, we are... Doing a big attack and then healing too. So we're going to poison something and then heal off the poison. So 69 is our initiative here. 43, move it, attack, jump, to target. Thankfully, I don't think you can. Uh, you got less movement though, so 1, 2... And one, so you're not actually attacking anything. The imps go after me, which is fine. Uh, so we are going to poison this one, and then we're also going to heal them off. So I'm not going to bother. We're just going to put take the poison off of this one. This is now a five damage attack against the viper. Six damage. Uh, these are all dead. And I get to add a curse because he didn't die. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. There was a... I had that shit. There was an L in here. One second. Uh, so it's only it's one damage or less. It's five damage. All right. Uh, now the imp's going to go. The imp is actually not going to move because they only have one movement. Good. I like it when they don't move. Okay. That was round five. Round... Oh, 
Just give me the tracker round six. We are kind of wanting to go late because we want to hit this other Viper. So we're going to go 43 and then move and heal allies, I think. Hopefully the Vipers go quick. 32, good. All right, so the Viper is going to run up. You get plus two of its... Ah, uh, shit. Well, you're going to do zero damage, but you're poisoning him. And you're going to do four damage and times two. Okay, good. Ah, uh, so four damage. The Imp's got a normal move of one. Unfortunately for them, one, two, three, four. That's not enough range. I am going to poison this guy to make this a two damage attack. And I'm attacking both of them, starting with the Elite and the non-elite. So the elite takes three damage and the non-elite takes one. Um, that is enough for the elite to die. And the non-elite takes one, but he's poisoned and a curse goes in the deck. And I generate dark. And then I heal allies, which gets rid of the poison. Okay, so unfortunately, well, Unfortunately, unfortunately, I need to... Oh, that's three. Son of a bitch. Well, since it's only one target, I guess I'll just grab the four attack curse back. Um, four attack curse. And then I need the... Um, I need the move. What do I need here? Uh, I, oh, I need the two AoEs. That's right. Because uh, I'm going to be short resting after this. It's the only way I think I can make it work. Okay. Uh, wait. I need three. Uh, this one. There we go. So that's the major stamina potion for this one. We are doing 21 quick. And it's really just to kill off the Viper. That's all we're doing. Uh, 11 shield. That sucks, but okay. Uh, so you're going to attack from minus 1 times 2. So 2 damage to this and poison. So it's not dead because I removed the poison. You now have a shield, which means the poison cancels out with a shield. I just got to draw a minus 1 or better. A plus 1. There we go. Okay. So the Viper's dead. What are the imps doing? They're 2 targeting poisoning. That sucks. Um, well, I'm going to move here because I need to. And then we're actually going to be short resting after this. So the imps are moving and attacking for one damage, two targets. So starting with imp four, one, two, three, four, you can't reach anything. And that actually blocks your attack on that. So you're attacking and killing this thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we need to short rest. We need these two AoEs for the thing coming up. So we are losing the heal. I guess we're going to have to deal with it. Yeah, I think I need I need the other stuff a lot more, I think. So plus I haven't taken any damage yet. Fingers crossed. So uh, that was round seven. So this would be round eight. So this door is opening up. Okay. Vipers are all dead. So last but not least, um, we need to... We're popping you. We might as well poison this thing unless they get to attack. Otherwise, we'll poison this thing. Um, are we going to move and heal? Well, no, we'll... Um, we're going to go after them. Or, no, 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 no. We want to go before them. Because if they get a two target, they're attacking me. And they have two two targets in there. So we're actually going to go quick, I think, here. Um, the heal is not going to be useful. We're going to go... Hope to God they don't get the heal shield. Otherwise, this attack is just going to be a stun, and that's about it. Move two shield. So we can poison, poison, run back, and... Okay. Uh, 21. 24. Good. We get to go before they do, and they're not doing anything. So... Um, oh, no. That's not good, because that means the stun is wasted. 
Do I want to waste the stun then? I could use this as a move four, kill these guys. But then I can't do anything with them. <sighs> well, if I was going late, why wouldn't I do this? And hedge my bet. I just need a move two. I'm hedging my bet. I'm doing that. Okay. So that they are... No, because I, I, I was going quick. That's right. I wanted to go quick. That's why I did it. That's right. I want to go quick. If I go here, then it wouldn't matter. But then these guys are going to go hit... And I don't want I don't want these guys to hit them, so I need to go quick. Uh, as it stands, they're really just strengthening muddling, but this is my biggest attack. This would certainly kill three of them outright. The following turn I could do this to whatever remained. So I could use you as a move four to go here, kill these three. They would strengthen each other, move up, poison the other one, kill the other two with this. I'd have to get positive damage though. Um, I could point while well, poisoning them, and that would give me the. Well, hold on. One, two. They've all got range force. So they would be able to hit me no matter what. I'm just thinking about next turn, what I want to do. I could certainly burn this one. And with the... And then I can save the stun for the, the Vipers coming up, actually. Um, if I use... Would I want to use advantage on them? Probably. Well, it'd be five... It'd be five damage. Base. If I use the power potion on that one. Five damage base if I use the power potion. And just hit these guys in front. Or I could hit these guys in back. And then these guys in front are already in range of these. Oh, the, no, I, it's range two. And I don't have the bottom attack. Well, next turn I could poison and then poison something else and then I could hit with this. Hit the guys in back. Well, then I'm going to get muddled from this one. So I want to hit these guys, I guess. So one, two, and nine. Do I want to use advantage? I don't think so. We're going to poison this guy. We're going to hit one, two two and nine we are going to use the power potion and then we're going to go one two nine of course so one and nine are dead two gets missed and i used to use a move and i generate a win but i'm not using win so God damn it. Okay, so those, uh, all of them are basically strengthened for next round. Four, seven, all of them are strengthened. Well, hold on. I killed one and nine, so one and nine are dead, and now they're all strengthened. Okay. And I'm out of range of muddles, so that's nice. So that was round eight, this is round nine. There's three of them. I did not want three of them. Which means they're going to hit me. And I don't want them to hit me. Well, uh, like I said, I can certainly poison all of them. Um, I'm in range of all of them. I'd really like to kill them before they hit me, though. I could kill one of them. And then the following turn, poison this guy... Use this as the initiative. Poison this guy. Hit the two for whatever's left. Oh, no, that would not be enough. That's not nearly enough. If I move here and attack with this, that would be three damage to both. Or I can kill one, do that next turn, because then they're poisoned. This would be then four damage to both. 
If I'm here, I can't poison that thing. <sighs> yeah, they're kind of in a weird spot, aren't they? Hmm. How do I deal with this? This is only range two, so I could certainly poison them all with this. This would also do a little damage. Do I have any quick, fast movement stuff? No, I could poison you and then heal you, I guess. And then it'd also be out of line of sight for a couple of you. Okay, we're gonna do that. 16, 42, good. You're just moving and healing each other. Which means you guys are gonna come out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and that means you guys are gonna heal each other. Actually, the poison will be negating that, but. Uh, so we're poisoning this guy and we are going to attack it's range two one two and then this is enough so two three and ten two damage apiece um, two two and ten takes one damage so this two takes three 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 takes three and ten takes one because it's minus one Oh, no, sorry, those are four each. Four, four. Uh, this is two minus one. So ten only takes one damage. But they're all poisoned, and their poison's going to get healed off. On the plus side, they're also moving up, which means two's going to move here, three's going to move here, ten's going to move here. They're all a nice, densely packed thing of mine, and I'm going to heal this one off. This guy is going to move here, and this one's going to move here. Okay, that was round 9. This is round 10. They didn't get to use their strength then. Good. This is going to be the round that they're going to shield up. <laughs> I just know it. Uh, their poison got healed off. Otherwise, I could just do this and kill two of them, but that's not going to work. Um, two target, I could certainly, 10 is not damaged enough. This would help. This would get me behind enemy lines. If I, what, uh, 10's right here, that, that would be in range. I could poison, I, that one's out of line of sight, pretty sure. Yeah, that one's out of line of sight. I could poison this one and these two, and then whack 10. But then I have to deal with two targets from them. Boy, if I can kill two of them, that'd be nice. Although you're gonna hit me anyways. I'm gonna take a lot of hits this round. Well, I'd rather poison and then attack, I guess. Okay, uh, so 26, 37, all right. So we're gonna poison two, 10, and four. Two, 10, and four. And then we're going to hit 10 for 4, 5 damage. Well, oh, it's, it's 5 with poison. Do I want to poison this thing? Yes, because I can move and heal both next turn. So it's 5, 5 damage. Didn't need to, but 10's dead at least. Oh, and then I didn't mark where those were. I think it was these two, or it was these two. Not that I'm picking up coins, but... All right, so uh, number two is going to whack me for two damage. I am not poisoned yet, thankfully. Now I'm poisoned, though. All right, uh, number three needs to, well, number three one can't hit me. But he can hit this guy, and that means he doesn't have to move, so he's going to hit that one. For a miss, good. Four, one, two, three, four, he's going to hit me. A miss, good. Seven, can't move to hit me, good. Well, that wasn't too bad, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, our initiative's 43 this round. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. I could certainly hit him four from here. Uh, ten is dead. I would really like to kill these two imps, I think, so I'm going to move here and then whack them both. 43 is my initiative, so we'll just use you and then save you, I guess. Yeah, because I need a range 4. Okay. 43. 43. Alright, good. Uh, we're going to move here, 
And then we're going to use the range 4 attack to hit both of these guys. So 2 and 3. Enough. Good. I wasn't going to power it up because I just needed a neutral damage. So 2 and 3 are dead. Oh, fuck. This is the round the snakes go. What do the snakes get? 43. Oh, interesting. Alright, so then I get to choose which ones go next. So, let's uh, spawn some snakes, shall we? Um, let me just make sure that we're getting them in the right spot. Yeah, that's that's the problem with dealing with the imps this long, is that now the vipers get to come out and play. Alright, what do we get? Number four. So there are nine vipers to deal with now. They are moving jump and two targeting, which means I don't think they can reach that at least, but so. Uh, so the probably want, I'm already poisoned. The imps, one, two, three. Uh, so you're not gonna attack, but you're gonna attack with that one and then me it looks like. So starting with me, awesome. And then you're gonna hit the other guy for Zero damage, but you're poisoning it. And the other one... Uh, oh, wait. One, two, three, four. The other one can actually reach. Did I screw that up last time? I think I did. I think you were supposed to hit that one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're attacking that one for zero, one damage because of the poison. All right. Now these guys are going to go. They only got a movement of two. Actually, that's really good. Uh, so starting with one... One, two, Viper two, one, two, Viper three, one, two, Viper four doesn't exist, five can't move, six, that's technically closer to the door, seven, eight can't move, nine, and ten. Interesting, I've never seen them like that. That's nice, now I need a short rest. And I've not used my advantage yet, I should do that the other way. Uh, I, I've not used my stun either. Um, unfortunately, I could not reach this guy back here unless I was here. One, two, three, four. I do have another move four. But odds are they're going to go before me and then spread out. That kind of sucks. Uh, question is, do I want to spend a life to get that back? I really can't. Where did that card go? Oh, here it is. I think I'm just going to have to deal with it because I, in the past, oh, there was a null in there. Fuck. <sighs> Sometimes, I swear. Is there a null in this one? Okay, you are done, so you'll shuffle. Okay. All this maintenance stuff for one person is hard to track. Multiple people keep you honest. So, uh, this round, since the Vipers didn't actually come up and whack these guys like normal, I could go up and deal with the Imps. Um, the one is poisoned, the other one's not. And... Or, I could stay put, go late, heal these guys, and then power them up and whack something. One, two, three, four. If I move here... I could get uh, the two target attack on both. It wouldn't be poison, though. It would also heal this one. I really want to save you, I think. You're, you're going to be a nice one, I think. Uh, number four is in front. I could certainly go here, heal, and then blast it, and then take a hit from the imp. And then next turn, I don't know. Boy, it'd be kind of nice to get a hit on both of them and then do two damage to it the following turn. Uh, can I reach all both of them? No, I can't. That's only a range three. The only way I can reach that one's if I use a move three to get here. And I'd have to use a move four to do that. And then this is not low enough, low enough initiative. Well, I th that's both of my low initiative cards that I earned. Unless I use this as the initiative, 
I poison this one. And then I next turn move here to heal both of them. Or move back to heal both of these guys, maybe? This one's not hurt yet, which is kind of cool. Um, I could blast you. I could move here, poison that one, blast you. And you're a decent enough initiative. You're not going to be that good yet, so I think I'll use you as the other card just for a move. So, 26. 32, 37. Okay, so we're moving here. We're poisoning this one. And then we are attack fouring the imp. Five damage. Well, actually, it'd be six with that poison, so. And seven with that, so four dies. Good. All right, that's that turn. Okay, so starting with the Vipers. The Vipers don't have any jump, but they get extra, extra damage for being next to each other. Starting with Viper 1, you're going to attack for 2 damage and poison. Which means not only is it extra damage, but uh, number 2 is going to go 1, 2, 3. Thankfully, they don't have jump, which means the rest are not going to move. Uh, so that's 4, f oh fuck. Plus two if it's Viper, and then plus the poison. Okay, never mind, I stand corrected. They are going to move because they just destroyed that one. Uh, Viper three, one, two, three. Viper four doesn't exist. Viper five, one, two. Viper six, one, two. Viper seven, one, two, three. It's going to whack this one for two, three damage. Viper eight, one, two, nine, ten can't move. Ugh. Well, on the plus side, I now have two targets for this thing to hit. Um, if I move here, one, two, three, four, I would be out of range of that guy, though. Uh, I might I might have to let this one go and go here and just start hitting these things. I'll let them fill in a little bit. Um, what's the range on this thing? Three? So I could, uh, no, if I go here, I can heal both of these. And then go, I could hit both of these then. Viper 1 and 7, or 2 and 7. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Use you as the initiative. Oh, and then I didn't do the imps yet. Ah, uh, so the imp, 1, 2, 3, 4, doesn't have to move. He's just going to hit me for uh, 1, 2 damage with poison. Boy, this guy does not have a lot of health. He might be the lowest health person of all of them. Okay, uh, so next turn is 16. 23 attack, move attack, and 5. Okay, well, I wasn't planning to attack the imp anyways, so that's fine. Um, that means this thing's going to take a shit ton of damage. Uh, so we're going to move here. We are going to heal off the poison, and then we're going to add it back to this one. So we can do extra damage to 2 and 7. Uh, so 2 and 7. So two takes extra damage as well. So three damage to two and poison and seven takes a damage, I think, and poison. And that adds two curses. And that's my turn. <sighs> okay, uh, so the Vipers are moving less, but they're a move, attack, move, or a move, attack, attack. Viper one can only move one he can't move two. Viper two is not going to move at all. Viper three is going to move here. Viper four doesn't exist. Viper five, six, seven is going to not move and just attack for one damage, two damage, three damage, and uh, zero damage, one damage with poison. So he kills that one. Eight can't move. Number nine moves up and number 10 doesn't move. Well, that's four targets I can stun, and unless they get a jump... Well, five if I go here. So I can do five targets and a stun. With this. This guy is going to run up and whack me, so I'm probably not going to get seven. Uh, if they go quicker than me, what happens? They move up, and then basically I don't have anything to hit. That kind of sucks. I don't want a short rest already. <sighs> Yeah, that wasn't gonna really play anymore anyways. Alright, short resting here. We are going to 
probably just stun... Well, we can get four here, we can get five there, and then we have to deal with number seven, I guess. Um, we can empower them and then also heal them with that. Seven... Well, seven will probably die. We also have advantage, so probably want to hit all five with advantage and poison, so we're going to do that. 16. They got less movements and not attacking, and you are moving and healing. Good, uh, I think. Which means you're just going to come out of your cove, which is nice. So we're going to first poison this thing. We got one, two, it's range three, right? One, two, three. The vipers are moving two. So this viper is definitely going to hit me. If I plug up the hole, none of them move. And even if they do, the ones in the back won't. So if we do one, two, three, seven with advantage. So one, two, three, seven. Nice. Okay. Uh, so with the poison, it's two damage a piece. So starting with number one, we do three damage to one and stun so we didn't quite kill one two damage we do four damage or two we did four damage to five with poison so two dies and drops a coin three we do four damage to which will kill it uh, and then the last one i believe was seven we do four damage to which will also kill it So three is dead, seven's dead. Well, actually, she would have done a lot more because it was times two. You're burned. We get a couple experience for you. And then we used you as a move and heal all allies to heal off the poison of these two. Uh, which means, well, Viper 1 is stunned, so Viper 1's not going to do anything. So starting with the imps, the imps are going to move one, two. You have a range three heal. You cannot reach them. Viper 1 is stunned, so Viper 1's not going to move. Viper 5 is going to move 1. He wants to move here. That's not any closer. 6 is going to move here. Eight's going to move here. Nine's going to move here. And 10's going to move there. Okay, good. This is where having the other AOE would be nice. Like the Immobilize, which I didn't bring with this time because I figured I wouldn't need it. Of course. Uh, so this is a good opportunity to probably kill the Imp. We could also use this to Immobilize the front 3. So I think we're going to do that. 26. 32. 76. Good. Okay, so we are immobilizing range 3, 2 targets. 1, 2, 3. So 1, 5, and 8 are immobilized. We're actually using that immobilize this time. 1, 5, and 8. Just to hold them off. They got a regular movement of 3. So the ones in back... Are going to be able to move up but at least it keeps these guys from attacking me or them and then um we're using this we are going to empower it with a poison here so it's a five damage attack hopefully it will kill the fucking imp five six damage good imp is dead don't have to deal with him anymore Okay, so that's that turn. All right. So the these guys are gonna go. One can't move. Five can't move. Six. One, two, three will move here. That's closer to me. Um, nine is not gonna move. Ten will move up. Eight can't move. Okay. Um, which means I can get hit by two of them at a time now. My best bet is to short rest again already. Do I have enough damage to kill them all? One's almost dead. I got rid of my big AoE poison stuff. What's all in here? Move all, heal all allies, multi-target, multi-target. I got all my multi-targets at least. I think I'd rather spread the multi-targets out, so we are going to short rest here. I lose a turn. <sighs> the issue I'm running, or the issue I'm worried about, is... There's only two curses in here. I'm worried about them getting too many hits on me. I got poison now, which means if they pull a plus one, 
on, on, a, on a plus zero of their things, so they're going to do four damage. Five with poison. There's just too much. I think if I short rest here, I'm going to have to discard a card anyway. So well, if I short rest here, I've got two, three, four more turns, assuming I don't have to. Four more turns to kill six monsters. Um, I probably also need to move behind this shit. So that they actually attack this stuff, assuming they don't have a jump. What's up, Sirius? Should turn the chat on. Ugh, this Plague Herald is kicking my ass. Uh, I wasn't going to use you as a multi-target anyways. Okay, good. So we're going to go quick to move, heal, poison him, and then we're going to... We'll be too damn... Well, one's almost already dead. I'd rather... Six. Everybody else is at four. I suppose... Well, let's see. What's their movement? Their movement's three. So if I kill one... If I kill one, six is only going to be able to attack one thing. Probably you. And you won't have anything unless you're jumping. So do we want to use a 16 already? We could attack and then move, I guess. We're going to use the two target here. Or uh, two range. To try and kill Viper with four. Unfortunately, one is going to be the one that's going to bear the brunt of it. But um, I think we will poison this one and then just move over it. And then save the 16 for the next turn. So 26. 58. Okay. So they're not moving as far. They only got movement of two, which means only Viper 6 is going to be able to hit something here. Unless I can kill it. So we're going to poison this guy. And then we're going to attack Viper 6 and 1. So starting with 6 and then 1. They're both minus 1. Well, 1's going to die. Uh, 6, unfortunately, is down to 1 health. And I don't have that many attacks to go around, unfortunately. I might just not have enough attacks. Does this guy have any wounds? Poison, poison, no. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so, uh, and then I use the move to go here to get behind these guys, so at least I can be sheltered next turn. You're at a nice range. Uh, so anyways, what they're doing, they're moving two, starting with five. Five's gonna move here. Six is gonna move here. Attack that thing for uh, five, Jesus, one, two, three, four, five damage. Man, good thing they're not attacking me. Eight's gonna move here, nine's gonna move here, ten's, ten's gonna move here. So I'll be being behind here again, it's good because now I can um, ping at them a little bit. Okay, uh, so 16's our next initiative. 32, okay, uh, we're gonna move and heal allies, which is gonna be you uh, we want to move back I assume might as well get a coin one two three I have ranged plenty of all of you and then we use the poison back on him to do three damage to can I reach six I can six is almost dead Man, it would be nice if I had an AoE poison thing, and but I used... All of them got discarded early. The one time I don't bring the AoE immobilize, the time I would actually use it. Otherwise, it was a pretty good run up until this point. Oh, man. So, do I want to try whittling a couple down, or do I want to try eliminating six? I've only got three turns left. Probably need to eliminate six... And then hit number five. Or hit number eight. Eight's in front, isn't he? Uh, actually, you know what? Staying here is probably better. No, if they got to move four jump, they're going to be able to do it anyways. 
Ah, uh, but they only got the move to jump. This is, yeah, this is, this is better. I'm not going to move. Um, so I'm hitting six and then I'm going to hit five. Okay. So I'll hit six first and then I'll hit five. Okay. Of course. Um, if I did that backwards, five would be dead because I did four damage to that one, but never lucky. All right, six is dead. Maybe the thing is just not to burn a card so early. I don't know. I just don't seem to have enough turns here. Oh, wait. Oh, what are they doing? They are moving normal. Starting with five. One, two, five is going to hit this guy for... Yep, you're dead. Uh, eight It's going to move up and hit... I'm going to say this guy for a miss. Nine doesn't have oh and nine does have a target one two three ten one two three he's gonna go for this one so they're all grouped up again it's too bad i don't have any aoe anymore all right what am i losing one of my two target attacks it's the weaker one but it's the one with the better range i have to take a hit for that i think and now i'm gonna lose the better one yep like i said never lucky Okay, so, yeah, two turns left, and basically I got to draw a ton of times twos. Oh, wait, I got uh, one short rest, two. Yeah, I got two turns left to kill four monsters. I can not do it, I don't think, unless I draw, well, here, we'll, um, we'll do this 16 50 okay so we're going to move and heal this off and then we're going to put it back on for this attack so it's not a three attack we the our only shot is to get plus ones on these guys to do four damage short rest get this one back and do it again essentially that's our only shot so uh, we're gonna hit nine and ten, I guess. Uh, wait, we'll, we'll hit. Uh, eight's already in front. Yeah, we'll hit. We'll hit nine and ten. That's fine. Okay. So we're gonna hit nine and ten. Nine, ten. There we go. That's what I like to see. Nine and ten. One hit for five. The other one hit for uh, six. Uh, so that's another experience, which means I don't get the battle goal. That's okay. All right, uh, so it's their turn. They got move attack, and they're just doing a shit ton. Um, one, two years is actually going to be this one. So we're going to make we're going to make you target this one, and the other one target that one. So you're going to target this one for one damage. Oh, wait, I should check this to make sure. Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, so one damage, two damage because of that. The other one's attacking that for a miss. Is that the last curse? That is the last curse. Wow, we actually got to see all of them. Okay, I need to short rest here. And basically, it's just going to come down to me pulling some plus ones, of course. Uh, so we'll do this. And 26 is our initiative here. 32. All right. Um, so we are going to poison this guy and actually do three damage to him because he's already poisoned. This is just a move two. Um, so we're going to do a three damage attack to both of them. Again, we need a plus one on the number eight. So we'll start with that because we'll get the pain out of the way, like ripping a bandaid off. All right, we got it. And we got it. Good. No misses. Jesus Christ. Down to the wire. And then I got to move too. So I'll just go grab a coin. As per usual, as soon as someone shows up to watch me, is when it all works out. <laughs> so thanks for the audience. <laughs> oh man, this is attempt number like, I don't know, five or six. It's it's still not as bad as the scoundrel, but God, when on, on the first attempt when I got literally a 50-50 shot on a short rest of getting the a 43 initiative, which the imps and the, the uh, vipers both have 43s, 
and they ended up pulling a 43, which means if I was going with my best initiative at the time, which was 43, I could have gone first and I looked at the modifier deck, it would have been a, a favorable modifier and I would have been able to kill the last Viper in my first attempt, I could have gotten it. But it ended up being a 50-50 shot in my long rest or my short rest didn't work. I couldn't drop the HP to get the other card back because I was poisoned and at one HP. Man, this one's brutal. But again, not as brutal as the Scoundrel. Um, Scoundrel would be a lot easier if you had the um, the Summon Ring. Because then you could force an ally to be next to one of your targets. Without a Summon Ring, it's it's difficult because your, your ally of the Sarah ends up dying relatively early. Uh, we did not get this. We missed it by one experience. Uh, two experience, actually, because we used it on the, the last turn as well. So we will read the conclusion. The last of the creatures falls victim to your swarm and you slowly, meticulously harvest its venom along with the rest until you have a large coin purse full of sacks and glands. Using your many claws, you raise the purse up as an offering. In a flash of green light, the bag disappears and in its place, you find a brooch radiating dark energy. The halls of the crypt are silent, but you know you have fulfilled your purpose here. You return to Gloomhaven, eager to continue down the path of the plague. So we have unlocked the Pendant of the Plague. It's a head item, which means you have to give up the advantage as a range class. But during a turn, curse and poison one enemy range three. So cool thing about that is it's a guaranteed curse because you're not going to be able to kill anything with it. Uh, getting a poison on before you attack something is always great, especially for you know some of your big attacks. Like this being four damage. Um, also being able to do that, you can also trigger... Where is it? You can trigger this to just do three flat damage if you're planning on it. I mean, uh, Kyle really wants this for his Quartermaster, and that's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be saving up and buying for this helmet. Because on the Quartermaster, once per turn, using one of his cards, you can refresh one of these at the end of the turn, which means you can essentially free poison and curse one enemy every single turn plus he also has item refresh um ability or uh modifier cards which will also empower that so it'll be really interesting for kyle oh what a long and arduous <laughs> several attempts it's taken me several days to do this but anyway Thank you so much for watching. This is the final of the Solo Stars. If you'd like to check out the other ones, you can certainly find them on my YouTube channel. I have a playlist called Gloomhaven Solo Stars where they're all listed. Uh, my YouTube is youtube.com slash songbirdother. You can pretty much just search for Songbird O or um, search for that playlist and you should be able to find it. Uh, yeah. Glad to be finally done. <laughs>